Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K screen paint using Ambulite Rejection Technology Game Tats 4 and 5. Today I'm finally going to get to getting the uh, white drop cloth, which I usually have on the floor. I forgot to get it yesterday because I've been so busy. But I'm going to be showing off the Ultra Short Throw Projector. Now this projector's already sold. The customer already bought it. He's going to have this with the Supreme 7 roll-on. And um, he's going to get that... Uh, that uh, 9 by uh, 12 uh, projection screen uh, to build his ultimate home theater setup. Now this right here I'm using is an Epson uh, 470 ultra short throw projector uh, 720p um, sorry 720p uh, WXGA and this projector is around 3000 lumens. Yesterday if you didn't get a chance to see it I did the demonstration on the 1100 lumen projector with an open door and uh, plenty of light in the environment. I've also done this demonstration outside too on a Supreme 7 also too. But this one was done yesterday and then uh, earlier in the videos when I first started off I did the Epson 4200 lumen projector. Where is that projector anyway? Right there it is. Epson 4200 lumen projector. It's that one. Yeah. See, I remember this was all stacked with, uh, I bought about five or six boxes of, uh, of uh, uh, containers. They're gone. They're gone. I gotta buy more. So, yeah. So, um, that was the Epson that I used to, when I painted the screen, I used the uh, NEC MP, uh, uh, sorry, NEC MP1150, I got that right the first time. Next, I'm going to be using, this projector's up for sale, so we got another Panasonic's. Panasonic's sell really fast, so we got another Panasonic coming in. Oh, actually, this one's actually going for sale. Um, we got another one coming in. Uh, this Panasonic is the key manager from KNA. So this Panasonic is also too going to come with a Supreme 7 roll-on. It's going to come with two quarts, and it's going to come with a screen size that's going to be 7 feet by 10 feet. So this one I'm going to be doing in a few minutes, the next demonstration. But we're going to be showing off the Ultra Short Throw, of course. We'll do this with lights on and lights off. Something else I'm going to show you really quick before I start this. Now, I got these containers from a company who sent them to us for free. Thank you so much. Um, I don't name the companies anymore because, like I said, we've had some problems uh, with somebody contacting these companies and just bad mouth and it's just doing nasty things. So uh, we don't mention names anymore. But anyway, we got a company uh, who uh, uh, gave us these items right here to check out. And this is the coolest court container. So I was kind of curious. No, not to say it's not a court container, because some people may look at this. I may have a customer look at this like, wait a minute, this is not a court container. There's no way to know this is a court. And then they'll get call us up and say, hey, look, you didn't give us all the paint we paid for. So I want to show you this is an actual court. So this right here, court container. This is a court container. This is we're going to fill this up with this, okay? So I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to spill this on camera. Filling some of it. So I made sure I filled it all the way up. And keep in mind, I spilled some of it and I still have room left over. So, yeah, this is an actual court. This is an actual court container. And some people may say, well, how why do you do all these demonstrations? You know why I do all these demonstrations? Because if somebody says, hey, look, uh, have you tested it outside? What's the lowest lumen projector have you used it on? Have you done it in fully lit environments? It asks so many questions, and I can go here, you 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 go. I can show you every, I can go through our archives. We have tons of demonstrations on just about everything you could possibly think of that other people just do not do. So I can show you on that level what you need to see. If you want to say, hey, what's the difference of your screen paint between 720p or 1080p? Have you done it on 4K? I've done it already. Have you done it on a high lumen projector? It's done it already. So this is why this demonstration is done because if I ever have a customer that comes in and goes, well, look, I got this in the mail and I don't think this is one quart. I can go, hey, look, here's the video where we took a one quart container, filled it up with water, poured it in, and showed you this is actually one quart right here. All right, so like I said, you gotta back up what you do. All right, so let's come over here and let's show off our ultra short though projector. Um, keep in mind, we don't have any more left. They're sold out. This is already sold to a customer. I like to do the dark contrast demonstration. Dark contrast demonstration with lights on, it's not an easy task to do. Because it will fade out. On a black screen, we don't have that problem. Black screens don't have that problem at all. Just show it and it's showing you the screen on an angle. For some reason, I don't know why, but a lot of the high-end screens have difficulty showing off a screen and ultra short throw on a side angle. 
I guess because maybe the screen has a narrow viewing cone. But I can see a light hitting the screen and it's not affecting it at all. And these are not, keep them on the these are lights that I have in my ceiling are not everyday lights, they're fun lights. So I one over here, that's actually an actual light. So this will show you exactly what an ultra short throw looks like. Now this is the Supreme 7 roll-on. I rolled this on right into the wall. Uh, if you're curious to see that demonstration, I'll also post it at the bottom also. Like I said, that projector is sold. It's already out of here. Like I said, they don't stay long. We get them, we gotta jump on them because they sell, they go quick. Now I'm going to be doing the Panasonic next. Let me pause it there because I'm going to do half this with lights on and half this with lights off. So get an idea. Those of you who are going to be using this in dedicated movie theaters setups or however way you're going to have it, you can just see the two options that you have uh, with the roll-on. And if you're curious to see the roll-on demonstration, I will also post all that at the bottom, so please take the time to look at the videos at the bottom, I have a lot of people that, some, not a lot of people, some people come into my channel and they'll start asking about certain specific things and I'll, I'll put leave links at the bottom for everyone to see. That's why they're there. Now, all, majority, most of, actually all the projectors I have done here are 720p. It just shows you don't have to have 4K, you don't have to have 1080p. few people ask me if they can use an ultra short throw with a black screen. Yes, you can. And also, too, guess what? They produce 3D. Like I said, a Supreme 7 can do something that other screens can't do. Number one, you can put it right next to another black screen. I can take black, black paint, go down the side of the screen, and it, uh, Supreme 7 will produce a higher white level. So I can put another black screen against another black screen. I haven't seen anybody do that one yet. On top of that, I can take the screen outside at 1100 lumens, 12 feet back, and it'll still pull an image. Let's get a look at those white levels. Those of you been asking me the question, can I use this with ultra short throw? There you go. I go with this because I like to show up the deep blues. All right, just in case if my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of a luminous 4K screen paint using the Amulite Rejection Technology Gain. 
times four, five, and seven. It's early in the morning. I'm actually a lot to do today. Four, five, and seven. I hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. Just showing what an ultra short throw projector looks like on our Supreme 7. Like I said, very easy application to apply on. You know, for a lot of customers who are intimidated, not say a lot of customers, but I got some customers that are very intimidated by a paint sprayer. This makes it so much easier. You can paint this on anything. Those who've been asking me about pre existing projection screens, those who've been asking me about roll down, motorized, doesn't make a difference. You can roll over and be done with it. I've done blackout cloth, and this is, going to be paint. This is actually painted right on top of the wall. Like I said, one of the biggest issues people talk about is like, can you be able to see the angle? What is the angle gain on an ultra short throw? Because apparently some of the screens out here apparently don't pull images up on ultra short throws, especially at an angle. And usually ones I've seen were supposed to be special ultra short throw screens, they're, they're silver. Either silver or kind of a really um, a, a gray. That's what they are. Me personally, I like black technology because like I said, I've showed you before when using those particular color screens and they have a really hard time. Excuse me for a minute. <coughs> it's allergy season, people. I'm telling you, I'm going through it. But they have a really hard time uh, pulling up images. I mean, you have to have a special kind of screen in order to use ultra short throw. Now imagine if you can paint your own ultra short throw projection screen. That's going to be compatible with just any projector you use. Long throw, short throw, ultra short throw, doesn't make a difference. And you can use this in a foliated environment. You don't have to worry about your screen washing out and fading. You can have your lights on and you don't have to worry about sitting in the dark. When someone told me that if my screen was ultra short throw compatible, and they were like, well, you know, does it show up on an angle? Can I see it? I'm like, ultra short throw, like, that does, I can't, they can't be having screens having problems with ultra short throws because keep in mind, that projector sits literally right up on top of the screen. The distance, the throw distance, it's very short. So with the throw distance being very short, it should be easier. If you've got 3,000 lumens and your projector's sitting about two feet away from your screen or one foot away from your screen, that should be a cakewalk. Now, if you're using a long throw projector at 12, 13, 16 feet back in a fully lit environment, and those lumens leave that projector, well, guess what? They got to travel distance before they hit the screen, which means you're not going to have the 3,700 lumens or 3,000 lumens you thought you had when it leaves that projector. They'll start to drop. That's why when you watch a demonstration on a white screen, the darker the environment, the less lumens are going to drop before it hits the screen. That means the screen has a better chance of producing a better image. Same thing with a light screen paint, has a chance of producing a better image. But if you do that demonstration with the lights on, the screen starts to fade because the lumen count drops and the screen cannot generate enough gain in order to produce an image. That's what happens with a projector. So that's why people go with the higher the lumens. If you're going to go with a ton of lumens and then by the time it leaves, there's enough lumens to hit the screen to generate a decent picture. I do it on 1100 lumens. So keep in mind, if I'm doing 1100 lumens outside, not inside, outside, do you know how many lumens that projector probably has before it hits that black screen and comes back? That's what I'm talking about. That's what, that's, people don't understand how hard that challenge is. Like I said, ultra short throw, I was like, ultra short throw is a cakewalk on that technology. That's just too easy. Well, that answers your question. Can I use ultra short throw? Bam, yes you can. Let me get out of here because I got much to do today. I got orders to get out today and I got that project. I'm working on take a couple of big contracts coming up for the company. And we are working on some projects with some very interesting stuff. I can't tell you yet what's going on, but we got a fixed frame coming up pretty soon. And it's going to be a Supreme 8. Yes, they're going to be pre-coded. All right, got to go. Thank you all for your time and God bless as always.